everyone. Welcome to our rolling pin paint program. I am Miss Lauren here and I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cool project at home. We will have supplies here while they last. So today we are going to make three different kind of rollers out of toilet paper tubes. We are going to make one that has this XO for Valentine's Day. We're going to do one with string and we're going to do one with bubble wrap and I have a whole thing of bubble wrap over here. First things first, we want to decide how much of everything we need to go onto these tubes. So I am going to unroll this, maybe if I can find the end of it. Perfect. It's not the end, but that's fine. It'll do. And we just want to wrap it around and make sure that we have enough to wrap around the whole thing, you know. So we're going to do that. And we're going to cut it. And the glue that I am using today, I am using Mod Podge, but I'm sure if you used regular Elmer's glue, it would work just as well. So what I'm gonna do with the Mod Podge is I am going to take my paintbrush and dip it in, and then I'm gonna paint all over it, and then I'm gonna quickly and carefully put our string on it to make it a cool texture. So I've got the Mod Podge. And while it looks white when you put it on, it does dry clear, just like regular glue. So we're gonna keep going, making a little bit of a mess, but that's fine. Nothing's gotta be perfect, especially in arts and crafts. Okay, keep it going, keep going. Make sure we get the bottom. Okay, and I'm gonna take my string and I'm gonna take the end of it and I'm gonna stick it and we are going to carefully wrap it. And it all depends on your preference, how you want to wrap this. If you want to wrap it really close together, like how I'm trying to do, or if you want to make it spaced out, totally cool. So we're gonna just slowly wrap it, just like this. Perfect, and look at that, we have the perfect amount. So we're gonna put that here. We're gonna hold it just for a second, and it should look like this, and we are just gonna let it dry. So I'm gonna put it to the side. I'm gonna let it dry before we start painting with it. Next up, I'm gonna use our bubble wrap, and I have a whole big sheet of bubble wrap here that I'm sure you guys have seen before in the library. It's been around forever. So I'm gonna cut off the bubble wrap, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this guy. I'm gonna make sure that um, we have enough to go around, and I'm going to use Mod Podge again to glue it. But like I said, you can absolutely use regular glue. It should work just the same. So let's see. That's pretty close. I'd say that's pretty close. It's a little too big, but whatever. And then we'll do it, um, let's cut a little bit smaller so it's not overlapping. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to take Mod Podge again. And we are going to just glue, 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 glue. We're going to glue our tubes. Glue, 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 glue. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the string. We are going to just very carefully Make sure that it's the bubbles are facing out. And we are gonna roll this up. And then I'm gonna snip this part off because it's too long. But yeah, so we've got two of them now. We've got two stamps and we're gonna let them both dry. The last one is just kind of for fun since it's close to Valentine's Day. I thought we would make a cute little Valentine's Day stamp where we would put an X and an O. And so I got the smaller of the uh, the tubes to do that. So I'm only going to um, use Mod Podge on the actual foamies and see if that'll help or work at all. We got to hold it. Hmm, perhaps not because they're sponges. Okay, so I've got the X and O, which is kind of big, but that's okay. And we are going to let these puppies dry and then we will get to work on our painting and I'm gonna make sure these stick. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I have our dried, mostly dried yarn stamper roller and I'm gonna paint it all around like this. So if you can see that it's kind of globby so that everything is on the yarn. 
So this, <laughs> this one is gonna get kind of messy because you do have to touch everything. And I'm gonna need some more green paint. But as you can see, we're getting paint on, on here all over. And the plan is to roll it all out just like a rolling pin. And we're gonna get some really cool patterns that way. I'm gonna need some more paint. Okay, so it's all painted. Here we go. We're gonna press kind of hard and we're gonna roll it. Look at that! That actually looks super cool. It looks like grass almost or like a hillside picture. I really like that. I think that's cool. And you can even move it around like that. Next, we are gonna take a different paintbrush and we are gonna paint our bubble wrap friend and see how he turned out. Same thing, same deal. We want to kind of glob it on like this to make sure that it gets all over so that we have some cool patterns just like, oops, I hit green instead of blue. So we'll fix that. We'll have, some, we'll have a blue-green sky. It's fine. Keep painting, keep painting. Do, do, do. I think this one's going to look really cool. Okay, so we're ready, we've got it all painted. We are gonna roll it across, just like the other guy. It almost looks like cheetah spots, I think. So there's that one. So, so far, so good with our stamp friends. And my hands are really messy. So next we're gonna try our X and O, and we're gonna see if they will stay like this. I'm not sure, I have to be very careful with them because they're very close to falling off completely. So here's our X. And our O. So let's see, what do we think? Not so bad. I think they need a little more paint. But other than that, I think we're pretty good here, guys. I think this was a really cool project. What do you guys think? So come into the library and you'll get your own stamps or kits to make your own stamps and you'll be able to paint beautiful masterpieces with your paints just like this and get your hands just as messy as I did. Have a great day, guys.